Hi there, Jack2022 and all the rest of you good people out there, of course. I hope that you are all safe and sound in these uh, still crazy times, uh, I guess I have to say. Uh, regarding your question on the NX forum uh, directed to me uh, in regards to a tube feature that is um, according to requirement, meaning that it's creating self-intersecting areas, but that is uh, what is uh, kind of uh, required here. Uh, and the question here was if there is anything in the Polygon suite that could help you uh, for a swift, quick uh, workaround for this. So let's have a look and see um, what can be done. So uh, on the screen, we have this uh, path here and uh, Nothing uh, strange with that, except for that the tube is rather uh, kind of uh, diameter-wise uh, large, uh, creating self-intersecting areas here. Uh, now it's going to run off and, and create that for you, uh, but normally you do not want these self-intersecting areas and... and uh, well, uh, depending on, I, I don't know what the purpose of, of uh, this specific one is, uh, but from what I understand is this is going to be 3D printed and you want a quick solution to this. Uh, otherwise, maybe you would assess the, the method used here. Now with the given uh, prerequisites here and, and that we are requested to see if we can do this in... Um, uh, by using polygon uh, modeling tools, uh, let's see what we can do. So, uh, first, uh, this is the BREP model, and we need to get this into facets. Uh, I uh, normally rip this into NX facets first, because that's simply just going to take whatever geometry you have in there and just rip the facets out of there. If you use the uh, convergent uh, to, to create it to convergent, uh, it might take time and it might fail. So that's why I use the um, facet body from body and use the NX setting here. Depending on, on uh, how accurate you need to be, uh, this is diameter 150. I think I'm happy with one tenth of a millimeter here. Uh, so I'm going to uh, simply rip that off and you can see how quick that was. Uh, we also know that we get a non-timestamp geometry uh, as we do this as an NX facet body. And this is simply just a facet body. Now when we have that facet body, uh, we're now going to convert that to a convergent body. Uh, and, and we do that by simply clicking on, on the... Uh, NX uh, faceted body. We do an automatic cleanup and we choose to hide the original. We could uh, keep or delete, uh, but I'm going to hide it because I might need it later. So I say OK to that and it's going to rip that off as well rather quick. However, there are still going to be those self intersections in there um, and, and we need to fix those. So, uh, once I've done that, I'm actually going to do a remesh to this body. Here you can choose a variable if you have areas that you need to be uh, to follow more precise. In this case, I am happy with constant and just for the speed, I will do 10 millimeters. Uh, and I'm going to be happy with that. So confirm with OK, uh, with enter and OK there. And it's going to run off and fix uh, as much as it can. Because remember, we still have those uh, uh, kind of uh, enclosed, enclosed volumes there, if you like, uh, or self-intersecting areas. Uh, now, uh, we need to do a part cleanup, or oh, sorry, a cleanup for set body, because this is the magic tool that will help you. Uh, so we select the faceted or the convergent body and we're going to do an analyze first. So we check and see that we got some uh, folded faces and we got a, a bunch of uh, self-intersecting faces. We're going to run off and do a repair to those and see what, what it will do. 
and we will have a check in the feature navigator here or a uh, part navigator over here you can see that we have a whole bunch of convergent bodies turning up there so uh, with that we finish and uh, we're gonna assess the um, the model we have here now so we, the first one we have uh, will be our main body and the others if i hide that the others is going to be the self-intersecting areas as i do not need them anymore i'm going to simply delete them and i'm going to keep uh, the main body so um there you go i think this is what you're after and i hope it solves uh, uh, your uh, kind of a, a quick workaround for you and with that, I'm going to leave you for tonight, and I hope that um, you will have a great day, evening, night, morning, wherever you are. Take care, stay safe, and above all, stay healthy. Over now from Fred. Bye for now.